Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a timer with Swift. So we're just gonna make a new playground. So open up Xcode, go to File, New, Playground. <clears throat> and we're just gonna title this Swift Timer. And it's gonna create a project. So I'm gonna make this way bigger. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete greeting. And we're just going to make a class called my timer. And we're going to make a init fu function. And let's just start out with printing initted. And we're going to say let my class equals my timer. Open and close braces. And we'll see what happens. We'll just make sure that init is called. And this needs an open and close brace. Okay, so it's an edit. So it's actually it's actually pretty simple, but um what we're gonna do is we're gonna make let's just make a property let timer and timer. I'm gonna say self dot timer equals timer dot schedule timer and there's a few ones that we can do. So we've got a block and we've got the selector. So we're going to say time interval every one second. Our target is going to be self. Our selector is going to be hashtag selector did tick timer and user info. We're going to give it nil and repeats is true. So now we're going to have to come down here. And we're going to copy this did tick timer and we're going to do at objective C private funk did tick timer open and close braces uh, or parenthesis and then braces. Let's see if this is still going to give us a bug. Constant self dot timer used before being initialized. So since we can't use self before it's initialized, we're just going to do var timer and then with a force unwrap. So if we then come down to our did tick timer, we can say tick and now it should automatically set this variable and tick every one second. So there we go, tick every one second. We can also, we don't actually even need this timer variable. We can just do it like this, stop it and then replay it. And it'll do that as well. I mean, the main reason you'd want this is if we had a function like public func kill timer, um, and then you can say self.timer.invalidate, and now it would start, but we uh, my class dot kill timer, so this would kill it. So it invalidates too quickly. So what we can do is we can say dispatch q dot main dot async after and we can set a deadline for now plus two and then execute this or can't do dot is it dot now dot now so this should tick twice and then invalidate so another thing that you can do instead of using a selector so we're going to delete the selector we're gonna delete the schedule timer. We're gonna do schedule timer, and we're gonna come down to this block. We're gonna do one second interval again. We're gonna repeat true, and this is our block. So you're gonna have, it's gonna pass back the timer, which you could, maybe you could say, you could have like a counter, and then if the counter uh, condition is met, you can do timer dot invalidate but we can just do an underscore for this and let's just print fired and then we can run it so it should fire once and then invalidate let's just change this to three <clears throat> so there you go it's going to fire three times that invalidates itself so let's go back uh control z a bunch and we're going to go back to the selector method and let's run it to make sure it works. I'm going to show you how to attach variables into a timer. Okay, so it works. And let's just put this to five. 
And what we can do is actually pass in variables. So I'm going to say let array or let dictionary equals food. And then our item will be pizza. So we can take this dictionary and pass it in through the user info. Then we need on this did tick timer, we need to put timer, timer, and it's going to automatically pass in this timer. So then what we can do is say guard let um, guard let dictionary equals uh, timer dot user info as and it's going to be string string else return and then you can say let food equals dictionary and then with the food um, key and then you can print and it will pass in what we gave it so i don't really know what the use case for this is i'm sure there is a use case i've never come across it but i'm sure it is pretty useful so i think we can also let my int equals three and then my int my int as int and then we can say my int equals print my int and it should print out yep so it prints out the integer you pass in so you can really pass in um, basically anything. I mean, I think it literally says, uh, where are we? User info, any, optional. So yeah, I think that's it. I don't know what else you can do with the timer, but it's pretty useful. I've used it in my own apps. Anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching. If this helped out, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Bye.